sketch a graph of the ellipse having the equation x plus 3 quantity squared over 4 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. Let's first remember the standard form of an equation of an ellipse. That's x minus h quantity squared over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared over b squared equals 1. And this hk, when it's written in this form, the hk is the center. Center of the ellipse. Now the ellipse is going to look either like this, an egg lying down, or an egg standing on its end on the vernal equinox. Have you ever tried that, standing an egg on its end? But the ellipse will look like that, and A is the always the horizontal distance from the center. Always, always, always. So it doesn't matter whether it's standing, uh, lying down or standing up, A is the distance from the center. Horizontal distance. That's A. So 2A would be that distance across the horizontal. Then B is the vertical distance from the center. So 2B would be the, uh, the total distance from top to bottom of the ellipse. And that doesn't matter whether it's uh, standing up or lying down. Now, what makes a difference is what you call the major axis. And that's very simple. The longest is the major axis. So in this case, in the, the lying down case, the major axis would be 2A. But over in this case, the major axis would be 2B. That is, it's, uh, that distance from top to bottom is 2B. All right, there it is. Now, I chose this example in particular because it will take just a little bit of manipulation to get it into this, into this standard form. This x plus 3, we, we want it to be x minus something. So let's write that, x minus negative 3 because minus a negative 3 is the same as x plus 3. Still being squared, and in the denominator we have 2 squared, so a is 2. Plus, in the numerator, we have y minus 0 quantity squared, so k is 0, over 5 squared, so b is 5, equals 1. So in this case, since B is greater than A, our ellipse is going to be standing up. So we have a center at the point. Now we can just pick these points right off at the point negative 3, 0. And I'll put that down right here. This point is just a visual aid. This point is not part of the graph. The graph of an ellipse is just that ellipse, that egg shape. Uh, this point is, is just for reference. And just to show that, in fact, why don't I just go ahead and make that a different color. There we go. Okay, there's the center at negative 3, 0. Now, we have A equals 2. So, a direction of 2, both left and right from the center. That's right here. And right here, I've got those two points. Those are going to be on the graph. And B equals 5. So that's the distance up and down from the center. So we have 2, 4, 5 up here. And 2, 4, 5 down here. Again, these points are part of the graph because they lie on the ellipse. And now we're just going to connect these dots. It's not going to be a diamond. We're going to make it rounded. And this is very elliptical. That is a really skinny egg. And, of course, there are many different items, objects in the world that have elliptical shapes besides eggs. But that's a, a nice visual reference. You can always talk about, astronomers are going to talk about the orbits of planets. but uh, And that's great. That's a wonderful example. But that 
is not something we can see. We certainly feel it every year as our Earth orbits the Sun. But there it is. There's an ellipse. Should be a little more rounded on the bottom and on the top because it certainly is not a, it doesn't come to a, a vertex like a triangle or anything or like a diamond. But there it is. We've picked out the points from the, that standard form and we sketched the ellipse.